Viragase Viragase is a dance form prevalent in the state of Karnataka, India. It is a vigorous dance based on Hindu mythology and involves very intense energy sapping dance movements performed by Jangama. Viragase is one of the dances demonstrated in the Dussehra procession held in Mysore. This dance is performed during festivals and mainly in the Hindu months of Shravana and Karthika. It is performed at all important functions of Lingayat household. Topic Lingayatism and Viragas The basic tenets of Viragas are drawn from Viragama one of the 28 key Shaiva Agamas and usually Viragas performers during their acts will convey some stories from the main six Shaiva Puranas like Shiva, Linga, Skanda, Agni, Matsya, Kurma, Puranas, and some Kannada Virashaiva Puranas like Garija Kalyana, Prabhulingalayale, Basava Purana, Chenabasavashwara Charite, dot etc. Most popularly conveyed story is of Daksha Yajna. The custom of bringing Devagang Ganj taruvid Ganj taruvida, Devaru taruvida, Devaru taruvida into homes from nearby water sources usually from wells is a tradition in Lingayat household for every important functions held like marriage, house warming, naming, Lingadarana, dot etc. Some Vakaligas in Karantaka also perform this custom. In this custom Virabhadra is taken to please Mother Ganga. Viragas is performed while bringing her home. In Viragama Ganga is considered to be the mother of Virabhadra as he was sprouted out of she Shiva's hairs and Ganga has taken residence on Shiva's head. Topic Daksha Yajna Viragase gets its name from the Hindu legendary warrior lord, Virabhadra, a Jata Putra non-biological child, who didn't take birth formally of Lord Shiva. According to Puranas, the Hindu supreme deity Lord Shrimanmaha Shankara Bhagavan Shiva was married to Sati who is also known as Dakshayanini. Since she was the favoritest child of Daksha, he got Maata Adishakti incarnated as his child after doing long penance to her. Daksha the Prajapati, one of the eight Manasputras of Brahma and a Stach Vaishnavite, Vishnu happens to be his grandfather in Visthu Rupa was against this marriage because Shiva had beheaded Brahma Daksha's father and being Mula Purusha Shiva actually didn't follow any rules as he was Nirguni designed by Daksha which made him not to belong to any of the class categories classified by Daksha being a Prajapati, it was his duty to classify everybody from Lord Vishnu, to smallest organism and hence bore enmity with Lord Shiva, he married his favoritest daughter Sati to Lord Shiva after multiple insistence from his Aradhya celebrated Lord Vishnu and his father Brahma. Added to this enmity Lord Shiva after marriage, did not do proper conventional conventions designed by Daksha in his Shastras reverence which is to be done by a son-in-law to his father-in-law, instead Lord Shiva blessed him for Daksha's prosperity, which yet enraged Daksha's ego, so he decided to perform a Mahayanya to which he invited all except the Adipurusha Lord Shiva himself. In Visthu Rupa since Sati was Daksha's favorite child, she couldn't refrain from attending her father's greatest of yajnas. To this, much against Shiva's wishes, Dakshayanini went to the yagna uninvited, by then Daksha's favoritism for Sati was perished since she was Vamangi left part of, the body of his enemy and he used the situation to insult Mahadeva. Unable to bear the insults, she cursed her father for his ego and showed her Nija Rupa as Adishakti. She cursed everybody from Vishnu to Brahma to each individual present over there. Even after many condolences from Vishnu and Brahma, Dakshayanini got herself burnt with her own powerful radiance. Hearing this news, Maharudra Mahakala Lord Shiva got very angry and started to perform the Rudratandava dance which created turmoil in the world. In this rage he created Virabhadra and Bhadrakali out of his jata tied hair mats, who went to Dakshayanya, disrupted it and beheaded Daksha, after defeating Vishnu, Bhaga, Pusha, Adityas, dot etc. When Daksha's wife pleaded mercy, he gave his life and bestowed Daksha with a goat's head. This story is narrated by the dancers performing Viragas. Performers. Viragase is to be performed only by the Jangama also called Maheshwaras, clan of Virashaiva, Lingayat community. The performers of Viragase are also called Lingadevaru. The dancers put on a white traditional headgear and a bright red colored dress. They also adorn themselves with a necklace made of Rudraksha beads, a hip belt called Rudra Mukh, an ornament resembling a snake and worn around the neck called Nagabharana and anklets. The dancers smear vibhuti on their foreheads, ears and eyebrows. They carry a wooden plaque of Lord Virabhadra in their left hand and a sword in their right hand. Female artists do not traditionally perform this art, but females have started to be a part of stage performance of non-religious nature which merely as a folk dance.
Topic: Performance. The dance troupe usually consists of two, four or six members. A lead singer in the troupe narrates the story of Daksha Yajna as the dance is being performed. A huge decorative pole called Nandikolu which has an orange flag at the top is held by one of the dancers. Traditional percussion instruments called sambal and dimu lend music to the dance. Cymbals and shanae and other instruments like karate and chamala are also used. The dance also involves a ritualistic piercing of a needle across the mouth. Topic Notes. <laughs>